And greetings from Dale K. Royal Texas Memorial Stadium. It is the annual orange-white scrimmage. It will be Williams taking it at the 10-yard line. Williams was back with Malcolm Williams. He does get hit right there, so they'll they'll blow it dead. Now it's the big redshirt freshman. Chris Whaley and Whaley gets down inside the 35 yard line. So if you come out, come out during spring as positions are open, clearly there aren't as many guys out here. You can really earn yourself a position. I know I did back in 1999 and that's part of it. You have to come out here and work really hard. And another big pickup by Chris Whaley. 6'3", 245, redshirt freshman out of Madisonville. And A.J. White, the uh, unlucky recipient of that stiff arm. Wow, that's exactly what they brought him in for. And he's made a few plays like this this spring. With Chris Whaley in the backfield again, it is a gift to Whaley, but he's going to be hit behind the line of scrimmage. Gang tackled right there. And, and several times last year, uh, when the uh, reserves would come into a game, you would see Will Muschamp down on the sideline very animated about not giving up points. And their whole thing is they want to come out here and limit every offense to yardage. Uh, they want to limit their yardage. They also want to limit the amount of points that they score. And the one way that you do it is when you're in the red zone, you have to stand up and really stop the opposing offense. 12th of the nation last year. Points allowed just under 17. Here's a route into the back of the end zone. And Brock Fitzhenry, no catch right there. Nice throw from Sherrod Harris. Indeed, that was a great play there by the sophomore wide receiver, 5'9", 171 pounds from getting Texas right up the street. And the ball was placed exactly where it should have been. And Justin Tucker will try to take over for Hunter Lawrence, who became a national name after that kick. Come on, I want to go back to that that deep post that Garrett Gilbert threw because he threw a dart. Malcolm Williams was there, but Curtis Brown was there as well. That's kind of a play where everybody did their job. The defense just won the battle. Indeed, and, and, and Malcolm Williams, this is something, this young man is very interesting. Uh, he's got incredible size, incredible athleticism, and, and they really like him at this position. And we talked about having a go-to guy for Garrett Gilbert. Uh, Malcolm Williams is the guy right now that they're believing that can occupy that spot and can fill in for Jordan Shipley. Now, the one thing that we know that both Jordan Shipley and Quan Cosby both had were incredible hands. That ball there hit his hands, and Malcolm Williams has to come down with that, but you got to give credit also for Curtis Brown for raking through his hands and breaking that play up but it was the first time we've seen Garrett go deep today and uh, it, the big fella certainly has a big arm and there you see a completion to Barrett Matthews the tight end who makes a nice move six foot two 235 sophomore from North Shore out of Galena Park to get the first down there was a face mask that gives a first down to the Texas team and there's the end around and that is the speed and power of Malcolm Williams and that's one thing Ahmad we should touch on because the Longhorns wanted to work on a few more gadgets in the spring and it was tough doing it in the spread the five wide and the shotgun every time. Yeah this makes it a little bit easier and, and I think this is a play that they actually have had in before but to, it, it was great to see it and I think one thing when you look at it here look at the big boy getting out in front blocking and now that they have some some out athletic and agile offensive lineman look for plays like this to be sprinkled all over um, the Texas football game plan throughout the fall and there's Fozzie Whitaker getting to the outside and then lowering his head down to the five yard line that was a first down run so it's first and goal inside the four yard line a little rollout and Garrett Gilbert with the easy touchdown pass to the tight end Barrett Matthews so the Texas squad the First team offense into the end zone, play action, and Matthews wide open out of that tight end position. You saw Trey Newton with uh, no gain on the first play. Play action now for Gilbert. He's going to go out in the flats and a huge hit by Kenny Vaccaro, and Newton cannot hang on. And uh, Vaccaro, the safety, that's what he is known for, a special teams animal, and now he'll be called upon to play more on the defensive side. Wow. <laughs> now that's how you run your feet through somebody. His hips were excellent. And watch how he gets underneath. You know, the thing with tackling is the, the one thing you want to know, it's all about leverage. If you can get lower than the guy and you have the proper lower body strength, you're going to make, you're going to be able to drag a guy down. Kenny Vaccaro there out of Brownwood, Texas, the sophomore. They really like his hitting ability. And here's a third down play. Blitz coming. Gilbert over the middle to James Kirkendall. Wide open, makes a move inside the 45, down to the 41-yard line. Kirkendall's first catch. He is the leading returning receiver and gets up a little slowly but again we we see the arm strength of Garrett Gilbert down the middle of the field wow that was a nice ball and and in fact uh, his ability is you can see Kirkendall to get away from the gentleman that was covering him that looked like Ben Wells had him there in the slot 48 catches last year 461 yards Gilbert back to pass again over the middle 
and this time it's going to be a touchdown as Garrett Gilbert throws a strike to Deshaun Hales, and Hales was lightning in a bottle, and there was no chance after they hooked up for that touchdown. They like this young man a lot in the slot because of his size, his quickness. He has the natural ability to break away from defenders there as he just did. And what can you say? That's the right play call. Uh, the, open, the middle of the field was wide open, and Garrett Gilbert, it looked like from a pre-snap read, he noticed what coverage they were in, and he found the open man as Mr. Hales trots into the end zone. Garrett Gilbert, as his offense is back on the field on 32-yard line for the Texas offense, and the give is to Trey Newton. He gives it back to Kirkendall, and Kirkendall trying to get to the edge, and he does up to the 35 to the 40-yard line. It's bragging rights until you get back to practice for spring training. And play action this time for Gilbert. Plenty of time in the pocket over the middle. Nice catch by Deshaun Hales. And Hales up over the 42-yard line. And that time we saw the touch of Garrett Gilbert. And early on, Ahmad, and kind of understandably so, Gilbert just, uh, you know, that shotgun arm. But now we see him feather one in there to Hales. And once again, Garrett Gilbert getting great time, Ahmad. And boy, De Deshaun Hales is having himself a nice afternoon. It is good to see the combination between these two young players. I mean, and when you start talking about the future and when you have players that can build together and grow together, that's a great thing. But one thing that I want to mention is if you'll notice, a lot of these plays where he's been able to get open, I'm speaking of Hells, has been on play action. And part of that is, is when you, uh, when you commit to running the football more, people will fall for the fake. And that's what's opened it up here as Trey Newton goes into the end zone. Yeah, he gets out of the backfield, down the sideline, Trey Newton with the touchdown. So Garrett Gilbert leads the offense on a third consecutive touchdown drive and a touchdown pass to Trey Newton. Let's take a look one more time. And this time, Gilbert, all kinds of time, and Trey Newton just gets away from everyone. I think that's incredible, and that was a great job there uh, by Trey Newton. And this is something that this young man has done a lot, is catching the ball out of the backfield. That's one reason why they like him. Garrett Gilbert, four for four, 74 yards on that 86-yard touchdown drive, third consecutive touchdown drive for the Texas team. We'll be back with more from the Longhorn Orange-White Spring scrimmage from Austin coming up in just a moment. And welcome back. And Case McCoy, the freshman, younger brother of Colt, is now in at quarterback for the fight team. And McCoy on the play action throw is incomplete. And uh, Ahmad Case McCoy, boy, how tough is that to come in after what your, your big brother did? But Colt will, will say Case earned this on his own merits. And, and he threw over 10,700 yards, uh, played his senior year at Graham. And now he's going to uh, battle Connor Wood and, and see what happens with his career here at Texas. And now he hands it over to the other freshman, Connor Wood, from Second Baptist High School in Houston. An amazing career in his own right, over 8,400 yards, 2,699 yards last year, 19 touchdowns. And uh, Connor Wood a little bit bigger than Case McCoy. And his first play in the scrimmage is going to be a pass. He goes up top a little bit deep. But again, two true freshmen coming in and, and kind of getting that head start. All right, Michael Griffin, pretty uh, fair safety in his own right as we're back to the action and we're back to Jeremy Hills busting it and Hills going to get in the end zone on a little swing pass from Sherrod Harris. Jeremy Hills goes the distance about 55 yards for the touchdown and so the fight team gets into the end zone for the first time as Sherrod Harris finds Hills out of the backfield and he does the rest with some help from his friends. It was like he was working in a phone booth there on the sideline and Jeremy Hill showing his speed, his vision, and his tenacity to get into the end zone. And as we mentioned, um, we, we saw Fozzie go down. It looked like uh, with an injury, Cody Johnson out, Vondrell out. This is what you want to do when you get your chance. At Texas, it doesn't always come that often. And when it does, you got to cash in like Jeremy Hills did just now. Little delay to Chris Whaley gets through the initial line and then down to the 30-yard line, so another big run for Chris Whaley. He's still trying to get adjusted to one another. It's a great opportunity to go out there on air, but also on uh, opposing defensive backs and, and work out some of those keeps that you won't have and you hope you don't have during the season. Well, it's fitting on the final play, a touchdown pass from Connor Wood to walk on Chris Torbert, and that will do it. Wood, here you see in the pocket, nice down low catch by Torbert and that will end the annual orange-white scrimmage. Connor Wood to Chris Torbert. There you see the clock strike zero. And the Longhorn players now will congratulate each other. 
and head into the locker room, and that will wrap up the orange-white scrimmage.